Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the 6.1 cold water change has affected combat in Vigor. 6.1 has brought about a change to how water works in certain maps, in that when you wade into colder waters, you will take status debuffs and will eventually take a large amount of damage and then possibly even die if you're in there too long enough. Um, this change has changed combat on two maps in particular, uh, these two maps being Anakin, the new map, and Diverg. Diverg is the one I'm going to start the video with, and then we'll get to Anakin. So Diverg, um, looking at it from, you know, past pretenses, is going to be a map that's very much centered around the main river. You're going to see a lot of combat in the farther north area where the safe spawn is, a lot of combat down by the city, a lot of combat in the far south in the open fields. All of these things are relatively close to the river. Um, Divergence 6.0 could be a map that no matter what side of the map you were on, you would go to the river and cross it to the east side of the river, and you would be able to get into a lot of combat. This change has changed that. What it's basically done is taken all of the crossing points that in 6.0 would have just been normal crossing points, you cross the river, it's not a huge deal, and you get to the east side where the combat is, and force them to funnel into the one out of, I think, four places you can cross the river in Diverg. Um, so basically, all Western people who spawn on the Western side of the map have to cross the map in one of four places, where these four places really before would have been minor combat lanes, are now major combat points because a lot of players have to cross them. To add to this, almost all four of these points are located very close to a high combat area. The one in the far south is located very close to the open fields in the south where there's two spawns and normally either a comm station or a safe. The one in the far north is right across the way where there's a safe spawn and sometimes a comm station spawn. And the one in the center is right near the city. The city I don't have to explain being one of the larger areas where combat's going to be, where your lock crates, your time safe, and a lot of other things are going to be spawning in, including your signal detector. So basically what it's done in for Divert is it's going to mean that Divert is going to go from a map where you have those three main combat areas that will mostly see combat to those three main combat areas which will always see combat. As players in the West are now funneled into these already very dense areas, making them even more dense and even more dangerous. This is good for anyone that likes combat, myself included, and will make Divert a slightly better map. Anyone who doesn't like combat, which is mostly people who are big fans of Divert, like Diverg for its loot, won't really like this change because a lot of the high loot areas are going to be right in the way of the new combat lanes that are formed because of this. Speaking of new combat lanes, really the new combat lanes are going to be same as before but a little bit more on the west. The west previously I would argue had zero to no combat lanes besides for um, on the western side of the city you'd see large increased amount of combat. I would argue now there is a new combat lane that runs along the western side of the river from the northern crossing all the way to the southern crossing as people in the western area are going to want to get closer to the river so that way they can, you know, cross at any point possible. All right, moving on to Anakin, the new map. Anakin, the new map is the one that's largest affected by this. Um, so Anakin previously before 6.1... The water was dangerous because it left you open for people's sights, but it wasn't deadly. Now it's deadly. What this has done is basically make it so that way you have to cross on the island edges, which doesn't sound like a huge deal in theory because Anakin doesn't really have any major combat lanes, but it becomes a huge deal when you realize what this is going to do is increase concentration of players on the edges of the islands, which in turn is going to make actual combat points of high frequency. Right now, the largest combat frequency point on Anakin is the village. The village is also at the end of an island, which means it will get even more frequency than it already had, and it already had a lot of frequency. Other areas that are very, you know, combat heavy on the Anakin, you're looking in the far southwest near the lighthouse, and you're going to be looking up in the northeast by the uh, boat. But I feel like combat will get decreased in both of these areas, as a lot of like traditional combat is going to move towards the edges of these islands simply because it's going to be where you see more people. Now, because they have to cross where the game says to cross, you can't just swim across and get interesting uh, flank lines. Do I think it decreased the quality of either of these maps? No. I think if anything, it made both maps 
better. I would actually like to see this change on all maps. The big one I want to see it on, though, is Grontheim. Grontheim suffers from the diverse situation of combat is rare, but it suffers on it on a level that is just insane. Combat in Grontheim is all centered around the city. If the river was actually a hard, unpassable object that could only be passed through the river crossings, it would add many new combat lanes, including some in the north, where the signal spawn sometimes spawns, which would give people a reason to, you know, go up there if they want to fight, instead of just making the city the giant combat area. This is just my opinion, and I hope you all enjoyed. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Maybe you think I'm crazy. But if you liked the video, be sure to like it. If you want to drop a comment, I'd appreciate it. I try to read every single one of them. This has been Christopher Feast, and I'll see you all next time.